Can a country as poor as Burkina Faso achieve progress in space technology? Every time African nations progress toward development, the West tends to respond not with praise, but with critiques about the need to address basic needs like feeding their populations. That's the only thing they show. Have you ever wondered why this is? It often seems like an attempt to distract from the significant progress Africa is making. Recently, Burkina Faso successfully launched its first satellite into space, and the West seems unable to handle this achievement as well. We congratulate you very heartily, the President, for this very big achievement. Between U.S. President John F. Kennedy and Nigerian Prime Minister Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. Thank you, Prime Minister, and we look forward to seeing you back at the White House again someday. But rather than focusing on these external criticisms, let's consider what this means for Africa. Is the African space industry experiencing a boom? Let's find out. Burkina Faso has successfully launched its first satellite under the leadership of President Ibrahim Traore. This event marks a significant leap in the country's technological ambitions, positioning Burkina Faso as a notable player in the space sector. The satellite launch is not just a technological triumph. It represents a broader narrative of progress and aspiration, amidst a backdrop of political and economic challenges. It is Burkina Faso's contribution to PACE war. So, how does Burkina Faso's satellite launch influence its development and inspire the broader African continent? The successful launch of Burkina Faso's satellite is a pivotal moment for the nation, with far-reaching implications for both its development and its role within the African continent. This achievement can be dissected into several key areas. The launch of Burkina Faso's satellite is a clear indicator of the country's growing capabilities in space technology. This advancement positions Burkina Faso as a significant player in Africa's space sector, contributing to a burgeoning culture of innovation across the continent. The success of this satellite demonstrates that African nations are not only capable of achieving high-tech milestones, but are also making substantial contributions to global technological progress. The achievement could catalyze for other African countries to invest in space technology and related fields, fostering a spirit of technological ambition and collaboration. In the past, it has not been like this. Space programs in Africa were built with satellites purchased from abroad. These were mostly for communications, television, and internet. For Burkina Faso, this development is more than just a technical feat. It represents a strategic move towards enhancing its technological infrastructure. The satellite can provide valuable data for various applications, from improving telecommunications to advancing scientific research. The success of this project is likely to inspire other nations in Africa to pursue similar technological endeavors, potentially leading to a wave of space-related projects and collaborations across the continent. The economic implications of the satellite launch are substantial. Space technology has the potential to drive economic growth through the development of related industries. The establishment of a space program can create new opportunities in telecommunications, data analytics, and satellite services. These industries can contribute to job creation, technological advancements, and economic stability. Furthermore, the satellite launch could attract international investment and partnerships, providing Burkina Faso with additional resources and expertise. Such investments could lead to the development of new sectors and infrastructure, further bolstering the country's economic prospects. By integrating satellite technology into its infrastructure, Burkina Faso can enhance its capabilities in various sectors, including agriculture, disaster management, and environmental monitoring. These advancements could lead to improved efficiency, productivity, and overall economic growth. In the context of political instability and security challenges, the successful launch of the satellite serves as a powerful symbol of national pride and resilience. For Burkina Faso, this achievement is not merely a technological success, but also a source of unification and hope. The satellite launch offers a positive narrative amidst ongoing challenges 
reinforcing national identity and collective morale. The achievement of this milestone provides a sense of accomplishment and progress, countering the narrative of instability and adversity that often surrounds Burkina Faso. The successful launch can inspire a renewed sense of national unity and purpose, fostering a collective identity centered around technological progress and innovation. But what are the practical implications? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. The practical applications of the satellite are extensive and varied. One of the primary benefits is the enhancement of communication infrastructure. The satellite can improve connectivity, facilitating better communication across the country and with the global community. This improved connectivity can have significant implications for various sectors, including education, healthcare, and business. In addition, the satellite can contribute to advancements in agricultural practices. By providing valuable data on weather patterns, soil conditions, and crop health, the satellite can support more informed decision-making and improve agricultural productivity. This can lead to increased food security and economic stability for rural communities. The satellite also has potential applications in disaster management and environmental monitoring. By providing real-time data on natural disasters, environmental changes and other critical factors, the satellite can enhance the country's ability to respond to emergencies and manage natural resources effectively. Definitely outweigh the negatives. The negative of satellite communications typically being a high cost to entry. Uh, instigating a, a satellite network is an expensive activity and that's usually been flowed on through to users of the network and the constellation. However, with the advent of new satellite technology and the proliferation of satellite technology in the marketplace, those costs have vastly reduced and they're very equivalent to GSM these days. Now the positives of satellite communication, which do far outweigh the negatives, are vast and numerous. But the key ones are based around coverage. So satellite communication being a satellite network offers true pole to pole coverage for any maintenance or monitoring purposes. The data can actually be received anywhere in the world and can be transmitted anywhere in the world as well. Now an important question is, how do Western narratives shape the perception of Burkina Faso's satellite launch? And what are the underlying factors influencing these views? The perception of Burkina Faso's satellite launch in Western media and discourse is influenced by a range of factors, which often shape how the achievement is understood and reported. In fact, media manufacture our consent. They tell us what those in power need them to tell us so we can fall in line. Western media coverage frequently emphasizes Burkina Faso's ongoing political instability and security issues. This focus can overshadow the significance of the satellite launch, framing it as a secondary concern compared to the country's pressing problems. By prioritizing issues such as political unrest, violence, and economic instability, Western narratives may downplay the importance of technological achievements. This focus on challenges can affect how the satellite launch is perceived globally. The narrative may suggest that technological advancements are less relevant or less impactful in the face of severe political and social issues. This perspective can contribute to a skewed understanding of Burkina Faso's achievements and its potential contributions to global technological progress. Skepticism regarding President Ibrahim Traore's motives behind the space program is another aspect of Western narratives. There may be questions about whether the significant investment in space technology is justified, given the country's other pressing needs, such as poverty alleviation and health care. This scrutiny reflects a broader tendency to evaluate African technological progress through the lens of immediate developmental priorities. Western narratives may question whether the resources allocated to the satellite program could have been better spent addressing more urgent needs. This perspective can contribute to a debate about the appropriate balance between technological investment and immediate developmental requirements, influencing how the achievement is perceived and valued. Western responses to Burkina Faso's satellite launch may also reflect biases regarding African capabilities in high-tech fields. There is often an underestimation or overlooking of significant technological achievements made by African nations. Stereotypes and pre-existing biases about technological competence can shape how the success of Burkina Faso's space program is recognized and celebrated.
These biases can lead to a narrative that undermines the significance of African technological advancements, framing them as exceptions rather than evidence of broader progress. By focusing on stereotypes and preconceptions, Western narratives may fail to fully acknowledge the capabilities and contributions of African countries in the field of space technology. Yet an important question here is, what biases and motivations might be influencing Western reactions to Burkina Faso's satellite launch? Western reactions to Burkina Faso's satellite launch are influenced by various biases and motivations, which can shape the overall perception of the achievement. Western countries often have geopolitical interests in Africa, including Burkina Faso. These interests can lead to a focus on political instability, security concerns, and other issues that align with Western strategic objectives. As a result, Western narratives may prioritize discussions of instability and conflict over celebrating technological advancements. The emphasis on geopolitical interests can skew the narrative, highlighting issues that are perceived as more relevant to Western strategic goals. This focus can overshadow the significance of technological achievements and contribute to a limited understanding of the broader implications of Burkina Faso's satellite launch. There is a prevalent belief in the West that African countries should prioritize immediate developmental needs, such as poverty reduction and health care, over investments in high-tech sectors. This perspective can result in an implicit undervaluing of technological advancements, framing them as secondary to more urgent developmental priorities. The emphasis on immediate needs can overshadow the long-term benefits of technological investments, including the potential for economic growth, innovation, and improved infrastructure. By focusing on short-term priorities, Western narratives may fail to fully appreciate the significance of Burkina Faso's satellite launch and its potential impact on the country and the continent. Western media often frame African achievements through a narrative of dependency or underdevelopment. This framing can diminish the perceived significance of technological successes, portraying them as exceptions rather than milestones of progress. By focusing on challenges and limitations, Western narratives may overlook the agency and progress of African nations. The narrative of dependency can contribute to a skewed understanding of African achievements, emphasizing obstacles rather than celebrating successes. This framing can affect how technological advancements are recognized and valued, influencing global perceptions of African progress and innovation. But was launching this satellite a good decision? From an African perspective, Burkina Faso's satellite launch is seen through different lenses reflecting broader continental aspirations and priorities. The satellite launch highlights Burkina Faso's efforts to achieve greater self-reliance and assertiveness in the global arena. By successfully deploying a satellite, Burkina Faso demonstrates its capability to operate in high-tech fields and assert its position in the international community. This achievement symbolizes a shift towards autonomy and independence in technological and scientific domains. For many African nations, the satellite launch represents a broader ambition for self-reliance and sovereignty. It reflects a desire to control technological development and contribute to global progress on their terms. The success of Burkina Faso's space program is a testament to the continent's growing capabilities and aspirations in the field of technology. The achievement of launching a satellite has the potential to catalyze regional collaboration in space technology and other scientific domains. African countries can pool resources and expertise to advance collective technological progress. The success of Burkina Faso's space program could serve as a model for other nations, encouraging collaborative efforts and shared initiatives. Regional collaboration in space technology can lead to increased integration and cooperation within Africa. By working together, African countries can achieve common goals, share knowledge, and develop joint projects. This collaborative approach can enhance the continent's technological capabilities and foster a spirit of unity and cooperation. Emphasizing the long-term benefits of space technology aligns with a vision of sustainable development and innovation. The practical applications of the satellite, such as improved infrastructure and data capabilities, contribute to a broader vision of growth and progress. This perspective highlights the potential for future advancements and the role of technology in shaping Africa's development course. The long-term vision for space technology involves not only immediate benefits but also the potential for future growth and innovation. By investing in high-tech fields, African nations can position themselves for long-term success 
and contribute to global technological advancements. The satellite launch represents a step towards realizing this vision and achieving sustainable development. Recognizing and celebrating technological achievements is crucial for building a positive narrative about African progress. The success of Burkina Faso's satellite launch is not just a technological milestone, but also a testament to the continent's growing capabilities. By focusing on achievements rather than challenges, African nations can build a more empowering narrative of progress and potential. Celebrating achievements helps counteract negative stereotypes and biases, fostering a more accurate and respectful understanding of African progress. The satellite launch is an opportunity to highlight the continent's advancements and contributions, reinforcing the positive narrative of innovation and growth. In the end, let's talk about what is the overall significance of Burkina Faso's satellite launch and how should it be viewed in the context of global and regional narratives. The successful launch of Burkina Faso's satellite represents a landmark achievement with profound implications for both the nation and the broader African continent. The satellite launch marks a significant step in technological advancement for Burkina Faso and Africa as a whole. It highlights the continent's growing capabilities and contributions to global technological progress. The development of space technology has the potential to drive economic growth, inspire other nations, and contribute to regional development. The economic implications of the satellite launch are substantial, with potential benefits extending to various sectors, including telecommunications, data analytics, and disaster management. The integration of satellite technology into Burkina Faso's infrastructure can enhance efficiency, productivity, and overall economic growth. By investing in high-tech fields, Burkina Faso positions itself for long-term success and contributes to a broader vision of innovation and progress. The satellite launch challenges prevailing Western narratives that often focus on Africa's challenges rather than its achievements. By celebrating Burkina Faso's success, we can counteract stereotypes and biases, acknowledging the continent's progress and potential. The achievement serves as a reminder of the importance of recognizing and valuing African contributions to global technological advancements. The satellite launch underscores the growing role of African nations in the global technological landscape. It reflects a broader ambition for self-reliance, regional collaboration, and long-term development. The achievement contributes to a positive narrative of African progress and positions the continent as a significant player in the field of space technology. The implications of Burkina Faso's satellite launch extend beyond national boundaries, influencing regional collaboration and global perceptions. By fostering a spirit of innovation and cooperation, the achievement contributes to a broader vision of technological advancement and sustainable development. So in the end, Burkina Faso's successful satellite launch is more than just a technological milestone. It is a symbol of progress, resilience, and aspiration. While Western narratives may emphasize challenges and biases, the achievement should be celebrated as a significant step toward technological and economic development. Recognizing and supporting these advancements can foster a more accurate and empowering narrative of African progress. The satellite launch not only enhances Burkina Faso's capabilities, but also contributes to a broader vision of innovation and growth for the continent. As Africa continues to advance in the field of technology, the success of Burkina Faso's space program serves as a beacon of hope and possibility, inspiring further achievements and collaborations across the continent. Do you think attention to the space sector will help Africa? Was it necessary? Do you support this decision? Let us know in the comments section. Do you think the West is trying to distract you all from the fact that Africa is progressing? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If so, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.